Hey everyone, this is Bill McCown again from Synergist Technologies in Quakertown, PA. I'm here with another installment of Tips and Tricks for AutoCAD. Today I'd like to show you how to use the new Array command in 2012 AutoCAD. They've completely rewritten this command. Okay, so I've got this drawing here and it's a seating venue. I've got to array some chairs around and I've got to keep a five foot space or an aisle around the entire area here. This red hidden line box is where I have to put my chairs. I want to put as many chairs in as humanly possible. I'm selling chairs, right? Okay, so first thing I want to do is move the chair into position. Now I don't have to do this. It just makes it easier. So I'm just going to move it into that node point and now I want to array. So I come over here to the modify commands, rectangular array, select my chair, hit enter. By default, I get a three road, four column array of chairs. Exactly what I was thinking. So I hit enter, and the cool thing about this array is you want to just throw it into the drawing as fast as you can. Then click on it, and you can edit it. It's got all kinds of grips. I'm going to grab this grip here and put it to the top of my corner up here of my box. Now, the nice part about this is I've got grips here. I can add rows and columns. I can see what I'm doing up top here. I've got the ribbon menu up. It's got my rows, my columns, the distance between each. It's even got levels. If I was in 3D, I could make another level, another 10, 12 feet above this one. So what I'm going to do here is interactively set up my array while I'm looking at it. So the first thing I notice is I've got plenty of room between the chairs. I mean, when was the last time you were at a venue where you had the arm of the chair next to you to yourself? I want to take the distance between the rows and change that. Now I'm just going to guess here at 24 inches. Okay, that's not enough. I want these chairs to be touching each other. 22 inches, still not enough. How about 21 and a half inches? There we go, now they're touching. All right. Now I look at my array and I, I know now I can get more rows in. So I can just grab this, pull it up. I'm still within my boxed area. Uh, I want to now change the spacing between my chairs. Now remember, the distance between is the repeat distance, so it's from this corner of the chair to this corner of the chair. Okay, not the distance, the negative space between, but the entire repeat distance. So I'm going to try 42 inches here, and that's not too bad. That doesn't look too bad, except for I've got now too many rows. So, I'm sorry, too many columns. So I'm going to pull that back to 10. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, there's just one problem here. I probably could get... Well, I don't think I can get any more chairs in. I don't want to have no leg space here. Uh, being a tall guy, it's the worst. Getting in a row with chairs with no leg space. Okay, so what we want to do here is maybe tighten up the distance between the rows here just a little bit here. I'm going to go down to 8. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. That way they're sharing arms. Okay. And I can actually fit, it looks like, one more row. Look at that. Another 10 seats. Okay. So now that looks pretty good, except... I'm now selling chairs that are over my columns. So I have to modify this. I want to get rid of these two chairs that are in the way of the column. All I have to do is hold my control key down, select each chair until it highlights, and then hit the delete key. Okay? Okay, so there's a few more things we can do to interact with this array. 
One of them is edit the source item. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to select my chair here. And I'm going to edit what this looks like. You can see already it's editing all of the chairs in the array at the same time. So that was if I wanted to edit them all at the same time, or I can replace one of the items in there. So I'm just going to drop in a block here and explode it. And I want to edit this block. Okay, and I can interactively replace items in the array here. I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to let it take the centroid of the chair for the replacement point on the chair. And I'm going to just interactively select chairs that I want to change out here. And I can change out just some of the items. Pretty cool, huh? All right. If worse comes to worse, you can always explode the array if you just aren't getting what you want or you need to. That's all there is to that new array. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That's all until next time. See you later.